Hello, I'm Sonia Quiroga. I work in Universidad de Alcalá in Spain. Uh, my background is on environmental economics. I have studied uh, quite a lot the, the climate risks and, and the impact on environment and, and agricultural food uh, production and also the health impacts of, of sustainable food. The case study I'm working on in, in Herit project is about sustainable food in, in nursery schools in Spain, public nursery schools. Uh, uh, the city hall introduced uh, some changes through the licitation of the cantinas for those schools and they tried to include some measures going to sustainable food practices. Uh, it was uh, very interesting because they included things like introducing ecological products, uh, having more healthy habits like reducing meat, for example, reducing sugar, uh, um, making fresh fruit uh, every day as desserts or not having uh, processed, uh, processed food uh, be between the uh, the products. Uh, it was very interesting uh, practice because the cooks were involved from the beginning, uh, learning for doing some new receipts for the children uh, having tasty food and so no rejecting the measure and that was that was one of the very important factors for the uh, for the practice. Uh, having support from the uh, public from the city hall, uh, helping them to develop all the courses and workshops that we were working together on. The key findings of, of, the, of our work was that, first of all, uh, early stages for, uh, in education, they are easier to introduce changes, uh, behavioral changes, because children they were accepting the practice, uh, they were not having any concern about uh, having fresh fruit or no, uh, no process-based uh, products. Uh, they were taking fruit like uh, in a very normal way, they, they accepted. Um, other of the key results is, was that this profitable at the end, if we see the long term, we did a cost-benefit analysis and we found that uh, every euro we invested on the practice was a, will have a revenue of about 5 or 8 euro in the future of 30 years, uh, in a period of 30 years after that. So, and after 5 years it will be profitable, so we will recover the costs very quickly and this is something we, we think is very worthy to do as public interventions. Um, other thing it was like uh, we, we understood that working with the awareness and the acceptability of the whole education community was very important because we were working on those workshops and uh, parents were involved, the cooks were like uh, empowering uh, themselves a lot and taking part of all the process and it was one of the key factors itself. There were some factors that didn't work so so well. Uh, one of the factors, the main factors, was the difficulties with the uh, licitation process for uh, taking the product, so uh, the production side. Uh, there were some barriers there to adapt the the, the public uh, conditions of, of purchasing the products, but mainly there was not enough uh, products available locally. So this was one of the main problems. They wanted to make short circuit for the food and take local production, and only with 56 uh, schools, even having only two ecological products, there were no possibility of taking from local. So this was one of the problems. For example, at the beginning, parents were not uh, accepting directly the menus. They were having some concerns, but this 
working with the workshops, the, this, this was easily uh, reconducted because nutrition, uh, nutritional information was given to them and they understood and it was easily, it was a barrier at the beginning but not really hard one. Yeah, the case study helped the triple win because uh, it takes ecological products, so it aimed to go through ecological production, what is environmental, environmentally sustainable. Uh, although we said that this was, this was one of the main barriers, so still uh, working on that. Uh, the second thing is that offering healthy food for the children, of course, help with the health benefits. So this is uh, clearly um, achieved because they were accepting the menus and uh, having really healthy habits that I, uh, I am sure probably will help along the, their whole lives. Most of the public nursery schools in Madrid uh, they are located well. They are located in different geographical areas. Some of them, they are in really um, depressed districts. So they are helping a lot, especially on those uh, on those districts. We were visiting, for example, a nursery school in San Blas, what is one of the more deprived areas in in Madrid, and the school was like. Uh, making a transformation in the whole community. They were introducing those nice uh, nutritional uh, habits and they were discussing that in the whole um, community there. What it wasn't, um, it, it didn't happen before. So we think it was also about uh, discussing, making social cohesion there. and. It was like parents being aware that they weren't doing the best for the kids. Because sometimes at the beginning they were coming to the school and saying, oh, but my, my children doesn't have enough meat, for example, I don't know if it's, it's good for him or whatever. And then the, realizing that they weren't doing the, the best thing at home neither. So, especially in those deprived areas where people not, does not have the information on nutritional aspects because they mm, sometimes didn't have the, the proper education. They were taking advantage of it and it was on those districts where people were uh, uh, really involved on that because they wanted to learn because they didn't have any information before.